This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. We're going to begin this evening with a subject that sooner or later occurs to millions of people who use cell phones. Are they safe? Can you get cancer from a cell phone because it's so close to your head? Do cell phones cause brain cancer? Tonight, News 7's I-Team has learned of two more cases. Tonight, cell phones. Whatever you think you've heard before, you must pay attention to this report. As a result, any talk that cell phones can cause brain cancer or even be dangerous is extremely serious. This is the man who ran the industry's research program for six years. And now he's decided to go public with what he found. It's irresponsible to say that phones are safe. There are at least six studies showing that cell phone radiation damages the DNA. Scientific evidence now raises serious red flags about potential dangers to millions and millions of people. I was told by the owner of the station that some of the stories that I did were polarizing. He never explained what he meant by that, but you could only assume that he means that that's not the type of stories that he wants to be told. Unfortunately, today, 2005, all of those institutions that I had faith in, that consumers have grown to have faith in, that consumers should be able to have faith in, have been compromised in one way or another by the efforts of the wireless industry. Where are the investigative reporters? I don't know. On the human epidemiology side, you have studies that show problems or potential problems and studies that are inconclusive. Now the industry spins the science and they put it out there for public consumption as though these studies are evidence of safety. It is scientific fraud. I've lost my job. I've got a brain tumor. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Um, and now I have no job, no money, no securities in a career. And uh, I, have, I have fought for the last six years. I know I'm facing death for the rest of my life every month of this year. You know, because they say there is no cure for this type of cancer that I have. I wouldn't wish it on anybody to lose somebody bit by bit like that, you know, piece by piece. It's a terrible thing, brain cancer. Congratulations. <laughs> so, so what does this mean? Well, it means a victory for Sharissa, and it means a victory for future workman compensation injuries relating to brain tumors from cell phone or RF radio frequency exposure. So this sets a precedent. It does. It sets a precedent. Litigation is the only way that we're going to be able to affect the type of, of change that will protect consumers. These are, these are all the documents that have been accumulating since 1993, um, and we're making sure that they're uh, all kept in a very safe place. In each case, we've been seeking in excess of $150 million. We're alleging that they intentionally misrepresented, misled these plaintiffs as well as the public by indicating that there was no negative or ill effects of cell phone usage when in fact they knew that that wasn't true.
I don't want my children to use them because I think I know a little bit too much. And I know that children are probably more susceptible to radio frequency radiation. But our children, where the cells are still growing and they are still uh, much more fragile, thin skull, all that we know, they are the ones who are going to pay this price. Now we have 1.4 billion people in the world using this technology and they really don't know what they're in for.